a the biblical truth of our hymns. Today we come, Christ the Lord is Risen Today by Charles Wesley. Now this hymn is an interesting hymn, as the details we have, but this hymn is sometimes confused with Christ the Lord is Risen Today, which we'll do at another time, which was, which, uh, uh, was written by, the fourth stanza in this one was written by Charles Wesley, he added, and they almost sound the same. Jesus Christ is risen today, and Christ the Lord is risen today. And we'll probably maybe do the other one, Lord willing. Jesus Christ is risen today, initially, to him only had three verses translated from just the first verse, being in direct translation. In 1740, Charles Wesley, one of the founders of the Methodists, added a fourth verse to the hymn as an alternative, which was later adopted into the hymn as part of it. And that's not the one we're doing today. But what I just read is Jesus Christ is risen today. We're looking at Christ the Lord is risen today. I said, Lord will, maybe we'll do it, maybe we won't. But most of the stanzas were written by Charles Wesley and Christ the Lord is risen today. The hymn appeared under the title, Hymn for Easter Day. And hymns and sacred poems by Charles and John Wesley in 1739. Now, <clears throat> Just because you're a great name of church history doesn't mean you're always right. Now, a lot of respect to the Wesleys, but when you call it an Easter, and you say Jesus Christ arose on Easter, you're dead wrong. Easter is in the Bible. It's a pagan Roman holiday of Estar, of sex worship. Christ died on the Passover three days and three nights after that he arose from the dead and it was not Easter okay so when you apply the word Easter to the biblical sense you're being not non-biblical and that's the problem with religion you're wrong no matter what you believe in right it was not Easter. The hymn evidently became well known for the re repetitive hallelujahs. It says, Christ the Lord is risen today, hallelujah. Sons of men and angels sing, hallelujah. Raise your joys, and I mean, every time it's hallelujahs, which were added by an unknown author to fit the commonly used hymn tune to Easter day. And that is again, that's the tune that this is written. The, the music behind it is Easter Day. So, Alleluia was added, and it's not a Charles Wesley written. He based it on an older anomalous Bohem hymn titled, Jesus Christ is Risen Today. And like I said, that is... Maybe we should do it later on. The Lord willing, Christ the Lord is risen today. We got two hymns that almost parallel each other. Wesley published, again, Christ the Lord is risen today, published it in Hymns and Sacred Poems Hymnal. It was initially written with 11 verses of four lines each. And I have four. And I have a thing uh, we're going to read that has six. Two more. I don't have the others. To get back to where I was reading. The hymn was later edited by Martin Madden, M A D A N, and for in conclusion in his Psalms and Hymns hymnal by removing the seventh, eighth, and nine verses. Again, like I said, we have. Five and six, and hopefully, the Lord, if I remember, we'll look at those. I don't know why. But an unknown Methodist hymnal editor later edited it to include the word Alleluia to be sung after each line. So when you see Alleluia, this is not Charles Wesley. To be sung after each line, thus the result of Alleluia appearing 24 times in the hymn. It is not known why this was done. 
but it's speculated by him analysis that it was to ensure that the hymn fit the tune Easter hymn. So we will change a hymn, we will change a poet so we can match an Easter hymn and Easter is not in the Bible. So we will change for Esther, the booby god, that you send your children out looking for eggs. Everybody gets dressed up in, in new dresses and, and funny hats in the ritual of spring worship. Now watch this. Now before I read the next thing, if you're going to sing Christ the Lord is risen today in your church, is your church Catholic? Are you in a Baptist church? Are you sure? Are you for surely sure that when you sing Christ the Lord is risen today, hallelujah, are you sure you're not in a Catholic church? Because the Alleluia, outside of what Charles Wesley wrote, has been added for Easter. And as an example, when the Roman Catholics and Anglicans ceased using the word Alleluia during the period of Lent, 40 days, but restored it unto their services on Easter Sunday. So, we don't use hallelujah for 40 days. On the day that we use it, we use it on their Easter Sunday. And since this hymn is to be sung on Easter Sunday, when you sing hallelujah, you're going with Catholic and Anglican tradition. So when your church gets up, we're going to sing Christ the Lord is risen today. Christ the Lord is risen today. Hallelujah. You're doing a Catholic, an Anglican service tradition. So I'm going to tell you right now, I would, I would apply this hymn. Only on the preface that you remove the hallelujahs and you change the, 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 the hymn, the song. I mean, not the song. He changed the music. Get rid of the Easter hymn music and the beautifulness that Charles Wesley wrote and bring back the verses that he wrote entirely. Now, before we move on here, let's look at the Bible, shall we? Let's look at the context. And we're going to look at Revelation 19.1. And I don't often open the scriptures when we've been doing the hymns, but we're going to have to on this one. Revelation 19.1, and after these things, I heard a great voice of much people in heaven say, Alleluia, salvation and glory and honor and power unto the Lord our God. For true and righteousness are his judgment. For he has judged the whore, which did corrupt the earth with her fornication. That whore is mystery Babylon, the, the Catholic Church. And avenged the blood of his saints at her hand. The ones that were killing all the saints of God, the Jews, the Christians. Again, they said, hallelujah. And their smoke rose up forever and ever. That's the whore. That's the church. That's the church that built upon all the nations love her. All the nations bow down before her Pope. All the nations kiss the Pope. All nations give full attendance to the Pope. And when you get a Bible preacher in the streets, we're going to call the cops. We're going to shut him down and get them off our doorstep. Verse 4. And the four and twenty-four elders and the four beasts fell down and worshipped God that sat on the throne, saying, Alleluia. Hallelujah. Verse 5, and their voice came out of the throne, saying, Praise our God, all ye servants, and ye that fear him, both small and great. And I heard, as it were, the voice of a great multitude, as a voice of many waters, as a voice of mighty thunder, saying, Alleluia. For the Lord God omnipotent reigneth. That's the only four times it shows up in the Bible between Revelation 1 and Revelation 6. It's the judgment of the great whore. And that great whore doesn't say hallelujah for 40 days of Lent. And then she comes up on her Easter Sunday of her pagan goddess, Esther, the day named Mary. And on Easter Sunday, hallelujah, so let's sing this hymn on Easter, which is not to be Easter in the Bible. Hallelujah tradition. How's that? When you put those hallelujahs there on what they call Easter Sunday, you're going into Catholic and Anglican mess. 
I even heard, I've heard good churches invite the people out to Easter Sunday service. It's never an Easter Sunday service. That's Catholic, that's Anglican, that's the world, that is paganism. It's a Sunday morning to us. Okay, <laughs> the hymn is also used by the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. However, they only use three verses of the hymn and have altered the text for them. And I don't, I didn't look into that. I didn't want to look into that. So the Church of Jesus Christ, they altered this. I mean, you can't have Christ the Lord. Jehovah Witnesses don't believe he's Christ the Lord. But, so this hymn is messed with. It's been added, it's been subtracted as a modern Bible. The second line of ver in the first verse was altered by the United Methodist Church, United Methodist Hymnal from Sons of Man and Angels Say. I got Sons of Man and Angels Say. This is what they changed it to. Earth and Heaven and Chorus Say. Earth is not people. Sons of men, that's the people. Males and females, you got to say that today. Angels is not heaven. The change was made to make the hymn more inclusive by removing the specific gender pronouns to indicate, indicate the resurrection for all. Christ was not resurrected for the earth and for heaven. He was resurrected for man to believe on him to be saved. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. But you throw earth in heaven there because you want to save Mother Earth. And you want to save my heavens. And you want to populate Mars and the moon and everywhere else. And the altar virgin has since been adopted by Christian denominations. What a mess. What a mess. So... What we have here, Christ the Lord is risen today. Amen. Glory to God. I ain't going to do the Catholic. You do the Catholic part in your church. It's your church. You have complete liberty to follow the Catholic traditions. I won't. I cut the, I mean, they got right here. If I were to make this a hymnal, my, which I plan on doing my own hymnal, if the Lord gives me a church, I cut this right down the middle. It would be just perfect. Sons of men, that's me. If you get offended, it says men talk. But Christ died for all, for God so loved the world. I mean, if you're going to change it to the Bible, okay, it says the world and angels say. Man, we're going so gender specific today, you don't even know what gender you are. Sons of men, everybody. And angels said, you know, there are lost sons of men and there are saved sons of men. You know, there are angels of Satan and there are angels of God. All the realm of men and all the realm of angels is supposed to say, forget the Catholic part, raise your joys and triumph high. Sing ye heavens and earth reply. There's the heavens and earth there. Everybody get up and sing. This is what you find in Psalms 150. Everything that has breath, let it praise the Lord. That's good. We did pretty good without the Catholicness, didn't we? Love's redeeming work is done. Christ said, I, it is finished. This, I'll say hallelujah. Hallelujah is out of context when we read it with the only place you find it in the Bible is Revelation 19. That's out of context, but what we're reading now is context to the death, burial, and resurrection and the scripture fulfillment. Of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Love's redeemed. For God so loved the world. We love him because he first loved us. Redeeming work is done. Fought the fight. The battle won. Death in vain forbids him rise. Death wanted to keep him. Christ has opened paradise. He said to that dying thief. Today thou shalt be with me in paradise. Old Testament saints arose. They've been waiting all the times. Now Christ, the victor, lives again our glorious king. Three days and three nights. He rose again. He's not our king. 
Nowhere is Jesus Christ king of the church. And we talked about that with him before. He's our savior. He's our groom. But he's never king. He's king over Israel. And that, you know, we steal from, we steal from the Jews. You steal, that, they, you steal that title of king from the Jewish people. Where, O oh, death, is now thy sting? That's scripture. Once he died for our soul. Once he died, our souls to save. Where the victory, O oh grave. The Bible says if a man believes in the Lord Jesus Christ, he's saved. He's saved from what? He's saved from hell. And that moment you die, you will be absent from the body and present with the Lord. In all reality, a Christian does not die. He just changed residency. And for a lost man... They don't really die. They, they they die, they get buried, and they wake up in hell. According to Luke. Soar we now where Christ was led. Soar. That's a rapture. Charles Wesley looked for the rapture. Following our exalted head, Christ is the head of the church. As the husband is the, is the head of wife, so is Christ the head of the church. Look at that scripture. Made like him, we'll be like him one day. Like him, we rise. As Christ rose, so will the dead in Christ. So those that will alive and remain shall be caught up together in the clouds and then meet the Lord in the air. Ours the cross, the grave, the sky. You go through the cross to be saved. By the cross of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now look at that. And we got rid of the Catholicness. We got rid of the non-contents. That was not written by now, we will see hallelujah in Jesus Christ is risen today. If we do that one, we may, may not. I don't know yet, but I want to look at Charles Wesley. Now, let's look at some stanzas forgotten. Now, they put the hallelujahs back, but this is not what Charles Wesley did. We're going to look at what Charles Wesley wrote. And this says it was in the United Methodist Hymnal in 1989. I just I just saw that, so we might run into a little trouble here. Let me see. Where is that? Yeah, see this one here. I'm looking at online. It says Earth and Heaven and chorus. But this is the. Well, let me try to read five. I didn't realize it said 1989. So forgive me. Hail the Lord of Earth and Heaven. Praise to Thee by both be given. Thee we greet triumphant now. Hail the resurrection thou. We're going, listen, we don't just die. When we die in Christ, we go to glory. King of glory, correct. Soul of bliss. Everlasting life is this. Thee to know thy power to prove. Thus to sing and thus to love. Amen. It's for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. And we did just fine without the hallelujahs. This is a great hymn to be sung any time of the year to celebrate the resurrection. We don't celebrate the resurrection just one period of time throughout the year. We celebrate every time we partake in the Lord's Supper. I'm always preaching the death, burial, and resurrection, Lord willing, on the Saturdays that I, I preach to the people. I don't reserve it for Esther. Esther can take her boobies and her eggs and her chocolate and her bunnies and all that. She can take it to hell. Christ, my Savior, who suffered and died according to the scriptures, was buried and rose again the third day according to the scriptures, took my sins into hell, released the captives of the paradise free, and had nothing to do with paganism. Had nothing to do with religion. So remember when you sing those hallelujahs, you're, you're singing to what? what? What was it again? What were you singing to? You were singing to the Easter hymn. The background music for this and hallelujah is the Easter hymn. Does your church celebrate Easter? If it does, your church is wrong. 
Your chick is pagan. Easter is Estar. I would take this hymn, I would find a different background music, and I'd remove the hallelujah. And be glory to the resurrection, glory to the burial, glory to the death, glory to the gospel, and not glory to paganism. For God so loved the world, that there it is in the scripture. It is finished, there it is in the scripture. If we suffer, we shall reign with him. There is the king, we are the king, king of king. And if we to be absent from this body, we'll be present with the Lord. And one day, those that are alive and remain will be caught up together with those that have died and sleeping. This is a wonderful great hymn, minus that whoever threw that hallelujah garbage in there. You say, you're calling it garbage? Uh, it's out of context with Revelation 19. Hallelujah in this hymn has nothing to do with the judgment of the great whore. Hey, I gave you context. I gave you the scriptures. You got a problem with it. I gave you the history. People change history because they got a problem. Get down your knees and confess your sins. If you confess your sins, he's faithful and just to forgive you your sins. The hymnal is not the Bible. The hymnal is not your inspiration of God. It is written by man, and all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. No matter how great that man is, he could be wrong in the scriptures. When it comes to a hymn that he is doing wrong against the scriptures. Match the hymns with the scriptures and let the scriptures be true. Let God be true and let every man be a liar. If the hymn goes against the Bible, the hymn needs to go in the garbage. You say Christ the Lord is risen today, no, it needs to go in the garbage? No, the hallelujah does. The rest of it I would keep. And you may not like that, you may not like my tone, but that's the truth. Have I become your enemy because I, I have spoken the truth to you? You might like it. I like it is a fuel of the flames of hell. I like it is the flames, the fuel of the flames of the judgment seat of Christ. It makes the fire hotter whether you're saved or whether you're lost. 